Hi guys, so I finally got one of these handheld sewing machines. I've been seeing them around for a while, for like the longest time, but I just was never interested in them because I just thought, why would I ever want to buy um, an handheld sewing machine? But recently, I just got really curious about them and I thought, mm, let me just get one just to see how it goes. And then I got it and totally forgot about it. And it was just somewhere in my toolbox but um today i've just gotten it out of the toolbox and i would just like to open it and then do a review with you guys actually show you if these things are actually worth buying or not if it's what's the hype or not what the eye because the adverts for these things are like really cool they just make you want to buy one right away so i'm just gonna let you know today if you should buy one or just not waste your money and not bother it's an unheld sewing machine and it's a portable one it's supposed to be something you can just put in your bag and you should be able to just sew on the go with them it says is the power of a big machine and I even so true denim. I find this really difficult to believe. After this video, we will both decide if you can actually go so through denim or not. We'll be finding out in a moment. Um, it says it repairs delicate fabrics, e.g. like silk. And it's battery powered, so we don't have to worry about plugging it into electricity. And um, if we look at the back... Yeah, so it's got, it says it's got set screw, fastening plates, all of this thing. You can sew through silk, denim, wool, leather, craft, everything. So it sounds too good to be true. I haven't opened this at all. We're just going to open it together. So I'm just going to get this out. Opening the packaging, this is what I've got. I've got this sewing machine. I've got this pack of two bobbins one spool pin and um a needle in there and i've got the instruction booklet taking this out of the package and the first thing i noticed was that this and this had come apart so it just came off like this but i was able to figure it out quickly so if this happens to you while you're bringing yours out from the packaging what you just need to do is take this put it over here i think you put this in and then you take this and use this to lock it in. Now for passing the thread, it's quite straightforward. What you do, you have your thread here, which is either on your bobbin or on your thread. And then pass it through this hole, which is right here. You pass it through this hole, which is right here, into your tension disc, through this hole, which is right underneath, and then to your needle. And I think that's pretty much how to pass it. Now, um, looking through the packaging that came with it, there is a longer spool pin. Initially, I thought that you actually can't use anything else apart from this bobbin, um, this pre wild ones, but there's actually a longer one. And I think you should be able to put a small thread on this. So I'm gonna see if a thread can actually go in here. Now, I'm not sure if this is long enough for a regular thread because this thread doesn't seem to fit right in. I'm gonna try though, I'm gonna try to put this in. Oh, it's actually not bad. The thread actually does go in. So you see, it is not bad at all. Have I got this the right way? Yes, because it's turning anti-clockwise. So basically, there are two options for trading. You can either use this or use the regular thread. Now, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to stick to using this. Now, this is what it looks like. And I've got the instruction manual, which I think is quite explanatory because I've just come through. And then it just shows basically how to use it and then the parts as well. Now, you're going to need batteries. It actually says you can use the DC adapter as well, but the packaging or the pack does not come with an adapter so it's just easier to use an AA so I've got a Duracell AA batteries here I'm just gonna pop them right in Okay, so this one here, this button here, from what I read, is actually what takes up the needle or brings it down. So when you open the machine, the needle is locked in, in there, you see. But to start it or to work it, you can raise the needle this way, raise the needle, and then you manually lift this plate up, and then 
you slide out the fabric or you slide in the fabric so now i'm just gonna try my stitch i'm gonna try to put this back in so i've got the batteries in properly now so this is what i've done for the batteries i think i did it wrong the first time so this is what the battery placement looks like now so what i need to do now is just do this oh it's actually making a seam how do i fit it back in let's see um mm. this is a bit tricky to use okay okay not bad okay so this is the seams that it makes this is the standard width of seams that it makes you can only make it wider and if you want to make it wider i think what you just do is pull it so it can be wider yes that's basically what you can do i'm just pressing this button and using my other arm to adjust it not so bad now i'm gonna try different fabrics and see how it behaves with different fabrics i've got satin here and i'm gonna be trying with two layers of satin and i'm gonna see how it does with two layers of fabric of um of fabric instead of taking it out i'm gonna try to see if i can just fit it in like you would with the regular sewing machine okay is it working i don't think it's working so to fit a new fabric i'll just have to go the normal way of um raising this turning this i think this can turn either way so i'm just gonna turn this raise this up and fit in the fabric so that is what i will need to do i fit in the fabric this way yes and then i can press the button which is this button and then use my other left hand to guide the fabric so, not bad at all look at the seam the seam is actually lovely it is not bad at all now i'm going to make this fabric i'm going to fold it again two more times so which would mean four layers and i'm just going to take it round so it can sew over it so i'm going to turn this and try to sew four layers of fabric oh this is beautiful look at the kind of seam it makes on the other side i didn't even notice this before so it does straight stitches on the right side and it does this beautiful stitches on the wrong side now i'm going to um fold four times raise this up yes so i'm gonna see if you can sew through four layers actually beautiful it is not bad at all it can sew seamlessly through four layers of fabric i'm actually surprised this is impressive and on the wrong side it does this beautiful things on the wrong side now i'm going to do a couple more tests i'm going to see how strong these seams are so i open it on the right side and um so this is what the seam looks like after you sew them together is it really strong um maybe not so much not very strong because i think if this was an actual garment i would want my stitches to be stronger you don't want this to be showing on the right side of your fabric when you're done now i'm going to be using this which is quite thick ribbon and i'm going to be trying it on four layers of this four layers of ribbon Now, my first challenge with trying to get into so really thick fabrics is that this needle doesn't go up too much. This is the highest it will go. So to actually fit the fabric in is a bit of a struggle, but I'm just going to try again and see if I can actually get to fit it in. It's really difficult to, so I'm not sure if you can really go through very thick fabrics because it's just difficult to fit it in. But I am not without a doubt that if you can get to fit to fit it in, it's gonna make a seam. So you see, if you can get to fit it in, it may you know just so well. But the challenge is, oh no, I think I spoke too soon. It didn't actually make a good seam. No, it didn't make a good seam. So four layers of thick ribbon 
he didn't do very well but two layers without a doubt i'm sure it will be fine now let me go through two layers of thick ribbon and see how well it does now after reviewing this product is my tech on trading it's pretty much easy to thread as i've shown you you can either use the bobbin or use an actual thread there's a longer spool pin that you can remove or pull back if you want to thread it and don't forget to add the spring back on it it's pretty easy just about three points um air 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 and then you're done threading so it's pretty much easy to thread easier than what you would have on a regular sewing machine so it's really easy to thread ease of start is easy to start just batteries um, if you want to use electricity, it doesn't come with the adapter, but you can get an extra adapter, attach an adapter to it, and you'll be able to use it. All you need to do is press this button. You can switch between lock and unlock, press this button, and then it's just easy to use, and then it's really sewing away. So it's easy to start and operate. Price. The price is really good. I bought this for less than £10. It was just about seven pounds or so with delivery on ebay you're not breaking bank just seven pounds or thereabouts you're good to go now on the seams the seams look neat um this is what the seams look like i think they look neat and then on the other side chain stitches which when you look at it it actually looks pretty so this is what the seams look like now practicality of the seams even though the seams look nice and good nice chain stitches are they actually practical i'll say no because if you look on the right side so i saw it on the wrong side if you look on the right side and you pull this you can see that the threads are like pretty visible you can see that the threads are visible um, and you wouldn't want that in an actual garment when you make something you don't want your threads to be like that and the seams really don't come smaller than this so you can see it's visible and the strength of the seams basically because when you use this to sew you have to use one hand to hold the power button down and then the other hand to hold the fabric and kind of like move in the direction that you want it's just not easy to kind of like manipulate and um, use so even to kind of like lock your stitch i'm not sure how easy it is for you to lock your stitches with it so really it's not the easiest to use so it's a bit fiddly for you to lock your stitches and then the stitches are not really strong so you can see that this one i did is already coming off so is it practical maybe not so you see it's already coming off it's not very strong yeah so you see easy it comes off easy now do i think this can actually make a garment i'll say no <laughs> i don't think so but well if you've got a lot of patience and you don't mind to move it around go back and forth and you're not really particular about how needs the stitches come out so say maybe you want to make something that actually doesn't need to be one maybe you're trying to like maybe make a troll pillow or something like that that does not need to be one or that will not have like that tension or stretch or anything see this come up, came off already that will not have anything like that i would say yeah maybe you can by the time you go over two times or three times it may be okay i'm fine now should you actually buy this sewing machine and i'm gonna be candid and honest with you no 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 i'll say don't waste your money <laughs> don't waste your money if you're looking for like a sewing machine to buy you want to be able to make clothes and make nice stitches i'll say save your money don't bother don't waste your money to buy this i think it's just more like something to have fun with if you're a little bit bored and you're trying to have some fun looking for something that you can play around with you're not particular about having exact stitches maybe you can buy it but functionality practicality you actually need something to be able to make clothes i would say no 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 don't waste your money don't buy it i don't think so i don't think it's worth it this is going somewhere somewhere that i don't know maybe back into the sewing box maybe i'm just gonna give tony zane my son to just play around with or something but mm, i don't think so i would say save your money use your seven pounds to buy 
some burger, go to McDonald's, buy a burger, buy something, buy ice cream, <laughs> buy whatever you want to buy, but maybe not the sewing machine. Mm, I'll say no. So that's it for today's review. If you have more questions about this, feel free to pop your questions down in the comment section. I can promise I'll be responding to all your questions and give you answers, things that you need to know. If there's anything I miss in this review, ask me. I'll be happy to go over whatever you ask me in the comment section. And that's my review on this. Don't bother to spend your money on it. It's not a very useful thing, even though it can sell through thick things. Yeah, I don't think it's something valuable. I don't think it's a valuable tool for your sewing. No, I don't think so. And that's it on today's review, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Um, My name again is Tolumi Abiola Oyetichi. And you already know I am your fashion teacher. See you again. Bye.